Well, I think Brown clearly represents the uh, fact that we had many courageous federal judges during that time. Had they not been independent, had they not had life tenure, we probably wouldn't have uh, made the progress uh, that we have uh, made today. And uh, the courage that was uh, shown by the members of the Supreme Court who were under very heavy political pressure, but uh, demonstrated independence and courage. And I think we all benefit from that. And that's the great legacy of Brown. I suspect that it's not so much that Brown has a direct impact on judicial independence as that if you didn't have judicial independence, you wouldn't be able to have a decision like Brown. There are certain times where judges have to protect the ultimate purpose of the Constitution and, and supersede it. Uh, so it has helped in that sense uh, expand the role of, uh, of, of, of fairness and impartiality uh, in the system. I think any judge um, that serves long enough will, will run into situations or cases where the judge feels that uh, that principle, a uh, you know, constitutionally based principle, requires the judge to decide a case in a manner that is not going to be popular. And I think that in the Brown case, we had Earl Warren, uh, Chief Justice of the United States, whose background was totally inconsistent from an expectation standpoint with the end result of Brown. But Earl Warren, uh, in the way that judges do in making decisions, was able to get the court to be unanimous in that decision. And I think that reflects independence of the judiciary in its essence. And if we do anything in the 21st century, it would be not only to have a strong executive and legislative branch, but have an independent uh, and fearless uh, and confident uh, and honest uh, uh, judicial branch. Uh, that is the heart of our civilization. If the court cannot have its independence, we cannot have a truly uh, valid uh, and respected uh, legal system. Judicial independence has been under attack for years. Uh, and it's the strength of individual judges and individual court systems that has been able to ride out the storm, I think. Uh, is it, I think it's probably more under attack today than it was in 54. And so the challenge for an independent judiciary today is much greater, but the stakes are also much greater. I think the importance of Brown for judicial independence is that it says to judges who are sitting today that there's a lot going on of a political nature around you, but you must be faithful to the Constitution and the laws of the United States, because without that commitment by that court to the laws of the United States and their willingness to shut out the political rhetoric against school desegregation, we would not have had Brown. Judicial independence is what has kept this country a free country, and judicial independence will continue to assure that those three words, liberty, justice, freedom, are not mere hollow words, but are reachable objectives.